up Shadow here and welcome back to Space Engineers and as you can see good bot hello good bot um major updates apparently I didn't you know I, I talked about it that the last few weeks um, they have been doing these public tests and whatnot but I didn't expect to see that update so quickly well done I would have to say so <clears throat> good bot let's see you uh, let's follow his guidelines. That's kind of cool. Now that it g gives you this kind of tutorial. Also, all new design here. Nice. Um, also, let me see something else. That's kind of cool. Can you ask me anything in the chat? Enter using question English only. In case of troubles, contact... So... So what, do I have to do like this? Um, let's see, what shall we ask him? How to change color of lights. Does that work? Oh, maybe it's just in stuck in the introduction right now, so... Okay, so let me just read off a few the features. Well, the main features, because this list is fucking long, by the way. Um, there we go. So, air tightness, performance, improvements, and changes. That's good. Um, new in-game help and contextual help. Asteroid clusters, which is something I'm not quite sure I can show you right now. Because I'm not 100% sure these will spawn in this world, or if they probably will spawn quite far away, I assume. Um, but 51 new predefined asteroid shapes, that's kind of cool. New relative inertia dampeners, I'm not quite sure we can show you that, how that works, but... Uh, you know, it, it basically works by targeting a... when you're flying. You target a ship with your cursor. And then um, basically you activate inertia and then you should technically hold the speed of that ship. Um, what else? Render performance improvements, good bot, chatbot, new Steam Workshop integration, new blueprint screen. Ah, yes, right. Ah, there we go. Uh, I, my, my, these are two weird ships that I made. Um, if I had a photo, probably that would show up here. Interesting. Looks very interesting. Um, new script screen. Better rendering of glass. I think so, yeah. That looks different, I feel. And new game screen. New game screen change. Alright. Let's see. Shall we do, um, do the... The ch good, good bot tutorial. There we go. Uh, meanwhile, while the bot is teaching us stuff, I want to, you know, uh, do some lighting in here. We shall continue with the whole um, lighting of the areas and uh, of the cockpit. I'm not quite sure if for the cockpit if I should go with the red light as well, because that might look very cool, you know? But I'm not quite sure if it's gonna be, hmm, if it's gonna actually look distracting or weird, but we'll see, I guess. Now let's see, we have two spaces in between, two spaces. Yes, so we'll put one here as well. Okay. Let me turn off the light and start making some lights. Hi, chat, but... Or do I have to do... I, I still not quite, not quite... Question... Hi. Or is it... Hi. Something... Hi chat bot... Uh, good bot. I'm not quite sure I'm doing this correctly. <laughs> I might need to look up how that works, but... I guess for new player it's very cool to do. Um, 
but I, I doubt that I will be using that feature. But I am in favor of any feature that makes new players um, have an easier beginning of the game. Because I know when I started Space Engineers, I had to look up everything on Wiki, on the, on the Space Engineers Wiki, and it was tedious as fuck, you know? So, oh, whoops, I, I opened my visor there. Um, so I'm very much in favor of uh, such things. Okay, so these are going to be lights, light um, cockpit. Let's copy that for everyone here. And then we're going to see what kind of color we're going to make this. Oh. I, I, damn it, I open up my visor again. I'm, I'm such an idiot. I don't know why I do that. Uh, right. Light. Wait. Oh, we didn't group them, did we? Yeah, let's group them now. Light cockpit. There we go. Okay, first of all, let's make them a bit more powerful. Like 12. 12, 5. And now let's see if we make this red. I guess that kind of looks cool, right? Hmm. What do you think? Does that look good? Or does that look too distressing? Actually, let's let me check how it looks from the outside if it's bleeding through. Oh, that's that, that's so ugly. Mm, I hate that. You know, in here in front that's okay. I can accept accept it here because here there is glass here and here it looks okay, but here that is so annoying. And then on the top as well. Ugh. Well, you know, it won't won't get better with the white light, but, but might look a little bit more pleasing. So, let's actually, let's make the, the light normal. That looks decent enough. This block is not finished. I was wondering, this looked weird. I thought it was colored or something, but no, it was uh, unfinished, apparently. Yeah, it still bleeds through, but it doesn't, it's not a, a, an eyesore like the red light is. So, maybe it's just me, but I think everything is running a little bit more smooth. Because normally I do have these like little lag spikes every now and then, but right now, nothing. Lovely. I have to say I'm very happy with this update. <coughs> that of course I'm pretty sure means that we won't get a Halloween specific update, but that's uh, that's something that is neglectable in that case. I think they they have done a great job here. Also, um. Now there are several features that are now out of experimental mod, meaning it, they're safe to use with multiplayer. Um, hosted multiplayer games, advanced options for worlds, worlds from Steam Workshop, cargo ships, random encounters, air tightness, realistic sound, and FOV settings. Very good. The more they can move out of experimental, the better. I think. And uh, that really shows me they're doing great progress. And they haven't given up on the game yet. I really like it. I dig this. There we have the, the air lock, so to speak. And I don't think we need this one. Don't, do we? Do we need that? I don't think we do. Because in here, we have an air, air lock, an air vent in here. We don't need to connect it over this way. So let's get rid of that, because that means we can actually, um, for one, we can put an, an air vent in here. Or, you know what, I'm gonna put them here, for a very specific reason. You'll see in a second. Do that, yeah, we're gonna need to get some metal grids for that, I know, I know, but... Uh, then put the block here. Hmm, you know what? I'm, I'm, I'm rethinking right now because I just figured out the thing that I wanted to... Um, the, the thing I wanted to do doesn't work. 
So I need to rethink now. Because what I wanted to do is... Changing your... Why are you telling me this again? Oh, now it... Okay. Now you acknowledge that I did it. Interesting. You will be building in no time! Thank you. Good bot. I wanted to play some... LCDs, obviously. And the problem here is that... I, I could... I, I fixed it here. I can, I can uh, put an LCD screen right here. No problem. But the problem is here. I cannot put the screen here and, and here, you know? Beautiful. I, I like this tutorial style, you know, with the little checkboxes, like beep, 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 you did this, you did that. And it feels very space engineers-y. Space engineers-y? Is that even a word? I don't know. How could we... I don't think we can fix this issue. I, either... Because I, I want to have the... The panel here, for sure. Maybe we don't need one here. Actually, we could do the panels... Um, like here. You know, showing that... Here it goes down to whatever. The observation deck. Right? So I think that works. So this is gonna be battle bridge, then we have uh, airlocks here and here. There we go. And you know you could also do some, some interesting stuff like you could maybe place something here and have an LCD screen here for, for your uh, like in-flight information. But that would need a lot of scripts and right now I do not really want to go into that much scripting but that would be a possibility we have enough room to do something like that it's kind of cool so maybe if I later feel I want to do that we can so oh wait we, we named these um, how do we name these oh yeah like this LCD and then um, that's actually there we go L LCD and then, oh, like this. This is CP2 Battle Bridge. All right. Let me show the text. And this is Battle Bridge. And of course, it is center aligned and a bit bigger. There we go. Okay. Now, airlock. This is gonna be called LCD airlock um, CP. Right. And there we go. Airlock. Ah, it's everything is coming together. I really like this. Everything is, be is becoming like neat and tidy mm. because even if you build an amazing ship you sometimes need to add these little details to make it feel a little bit more authentic is that the right word to use I think it is makes everything feel a little bit more like it should be you know so I'm going this time when most of the time if I, I do something in, in like creative I skip this kind of stuff and therefore, a lot of my creative ships, from the outside, they look very cool. But if you go inside, you feel a little bit meh. But this really helps, you know. All these these little airlock buttons and whatnot. Now, in here, we don't have a, like a, a centralized control for the airlocks. Um, but that's okay, I think. And there we go. We have uh, oxygen. Sweet. Now, what I could do here. I think we should um, do this because this is a bit of a waste of space back here. Um, put some seats down here, right? Use the space. You maybe can have, I don't know, some backup pilots here or something like that. I'm gonna use the airlock like we should. There we go. Get ourselves some more interior plates. I'm 
really beginning to like this ship. <laughs> Beautiful. And I really like these doors um, for airlocks. I, normally I use these. But I think these ones are even better for some reason. I don't know why. Maybe it's because you actually have a lot of room in between since the doors are offset. They're not in the middle of the block. No. Actually, do I have oxygen in here? No. Well, I have none in here as well because there's so such a huge room that it barely manages to fill it with oxygen. So, yeah. Oh, and we're... That's annoying, we ran out of components. Of course! It was so clear, by the way, that I would run out of something like that. Alright, let's add some more air vents. Actually, the problem might be that I don't have enough um, oxygen as just as a whole. You know? Because these, even though we have oxygen generators, they do not produce that much right now. I would have to angle the ship towards the sun, then we might get a bit more oxygen production, but, um, eh, it's okay. That should be enough, hopefully. Okie dokie. Let's finish all of these off. Still not quite sure how you weld a leather seat, but eh, that's, that's just space engineers things, right? Do not question the ways of Clang. <laughs> okay, but I think I'm happy with this area mostly. Yeah, I think so. Okay, so we're gonna go downstairs now. So we should be able to close this door off and therefore these will supply its own oxygen in in here and downstairs that's good and so now we um do we put the lcd here i think so right hmm let's see how this looks what other types of lcds do we have these, I don't know. They, they, they do not really work for me. No, no. I think, I think these are fine. They're, they're fine. They work. So these are gonna be LCD, MCP to lower observation deck, uh, or how did I call it in the other uh, observation? UO. Obs upper observation room. Yeah, okay. So this is LO, lower observation. Got it. And then this one is going to be the same. Okay, cool. So let me just uh, lower observation deck. I, I'm pretty sure in the other one I called it a room, but that's okay. Um... Show text? Oh, I'm showing it on the, the wrong one, I'm pretty sure. Uh, or maybe not. Huh? Hold on. Okay. So this one works. What is with the other one? Oof, ooh, bar barely, barely enough room to display it. Also, this is not 100% centered, by the way. That's kind of weird, don't you think? This looks like a weird, um, fro you know, as I, I work as a programmer, so not only do I just, you know, do normal programming, I also do some web design and stuff. So this looks to me like a weird CSS issue, that the, the thing is centered, but not quite on the right, you know, in the right way. It's centered, maybe, maybe uh, I don't know, it's so weird. Why is it that way? That really bugs me now. Can I fix this somehow? 
by adding... Hmm, I think that works. Yeah, that works. I just need to add um, spaces behind. Okay, cool. So let's just do that then. Copy oh, this. And paste it here. Oh yeah. Okay, and then we need to light this whole room. I think three lights should be enough. Well, this room is already kind of lighted from the the lights around it, you know, from the outside of the room, which is kind of weird, but that's how it is. Okay, let's go and search them. Lights. And these are gonna be... Um, let's, let's just call it stair staircase. So this is just this little room. That's, this is our stairwell, whatever. Just make them a little bit bigger. There we go. Let's group them up, just in case. Okay. And then we go down into this bad boy. Okay, so first of all, we need some more doors here. Apparently we didn't put them in first time around. Turning off dampeners while flying allows you to move without slowing down. Okay. We... I wonder based on what he tells you these things. If there's like certain actions. Oh, use relative dampening with Control Z to keep velocity of the ship under cursor. That is, that is how it works. Okay. Ah, I see there's another symbol down there. So if I use, for example, I have my cursor now on this ship. If I do Control Z, you see there the symbol auto, auto? It, it, it changes my speed to the she speed of this ship, which of course right now is zero. So, yeah. G. Cool. We're just doing these tutorials on the fly. Okay. Let's add some lights. There. And actually also have one there. Why not? And then. One, two, three. One, two, three. There we go. Insert, oh yeah. Rotate blocks, obviously. There we go. Good tutorials. Very good tutorials. I can really see how player who coming new to this game will love these things. Seriously. Now, I wonder if they keep showing up on every, like, new world that you play. Because then I might need to deactivate these, but, um... You know, maybe it's just the first time that I've the game running, so... Are you sure you have not done this before? Oh man, many times! Oh, also cool! Oxygen is getting low, it reminds me of stuff, that is cool! It's like having a little automatic assistant that tells you important things. That's very nice! There's a lot of potential for this uh, thingy. And now it tells me to refill my oxygen. We will do, do, do that soon! little good bot soon now we need to add more lights one two three and boom in the middle and here perfect this is gonna work out perfectly and then of course there needs to be a door right here Ugh, interior components missing Oh no, construction components, I mean. Uh, now, of course, we need to go to the upper airlocks to um, get out. There we go. To the airlock. Close the airlock! Alright, let's l refill the oxygen. Whatever. Let's do that. Noise. Breathing is preferable to not breathing. <laughs> Thank you, good bot! 
good tips to stay alive. Because knowing is half the battle. <laughs> okay. Uh, we need uh, uh, components, don't we? There we go. Walking consumes less oxygen than running and sprinting. How, how about flying? Does flying consume a lot of oxygen? Oh! I just emptied out all of the... Whoopsie. To use the welder on any block. I'm about to! Calm down! And boom! And there we go. Impressive! Most impressive! Use the right mouse button to store components from your inventory into... In, in, what's into a block under construction? Oh, is that without welding it? Let's see. I didn't even know that! I'm even learning new stuff now! This is amazing! <laughs> now I feel kind of stupid, actually. Uh, use my, your magnetic boots. Give me your gloves, your boots, and your motorcycle. The last engineer took much longer to figure this out. Tip, do not jump. <laughs> oh, love good. This is a funny AI. I like it. Okay, so these are gonna be lights. Lower obser observation deck. Copy that. Oh. I, c I think I know why you cannot rename multiple things, because right now I probably would have by accident renamed everything to Light Lower Observation Deck, which would have been kind of awkward. That would be a great, like, a hacking script, however. You know, a, a script that it, it kind of docks onto a ship and starts to rename everything to, like, something stupid. Like, cargo container number 755. And you don't know what is what anymore. It's great. Somebody should do that. Okay. Let's pump up the radius until it feels bright enough. Ah, look at that! It's, it's super empty, this room. I'm very aware of that, but... It is beautiful. Okay. Uh, before we quit here, let's put in the seats. More seats. You can never have enough seats. We have a beautiful view of the outside. And actually, I think I might put um, a gravity generator in this room. Because this room does not really hold anything else. So why not put a gravity generator, right? And then I think we have to kind of adjust the gravity generator as well, because... I'm almost certain we need two because of the length of the ship. So we might want to like make it that they don't overlap. That's going to be quite important. So yeah, let's let's put one down. and see what kind of components we need. We need like gravity comp gravity components. I think they're called or whatever. Uh, there we go. Gravity components. Yeah, six of them, and some computers as well. Something else. Oh, construction components. Yeah, yeah, of course. I don't even know if I have any gravity components, like, in my inventory. Did it? Did it? Nice. Okay, uh, let's grab. First we need interior, then... Oh, we do have gravity components. Huh. Interesting. Didn't know we did. Um, but first let me grab some computers while we're here. I'm not quite sure from where do from where did we get the gravity components? Did we have a gravity? Uh, I, I don't even know now if we had um, a gravity um, generator on our on the ship, you know? On the big ship that we crashed with or crashed, landed. 
These skills are serve you well. I know, right? Build control panels to easily access ship menus. Yes, of course. Ugh. There we go. Let's let's weld this first. Oh damn! Okay, large. St uh, we need more computers and large steel tubes. Well, at least we can get rid of the gravity components now because they're super heavy. Heavy, which kind of makes sense. You know, you need something that pulls you down towards the gravity generator, so it must be heavy, like a, a mini miniature planet inside that pulls you toward. No, that doesn't make any sense. But it would be cool, kind of like a sci-fi. Thingy. Like the gravity generator is basically a small planet exerting gravity force er, to its surroundings. <laughs> um, all right. We need that, and then we need some more computers. Where are the computers? There they are. That should be. You know what? Just in case, this takes a few more of the large tubes. Don't want to end up with, uh, with one tube too short. Basically, that's gonna would be awkward now. Nice. Wonderful. Now we can just walk around. Oh, that's nice. That's very nice now. It starts to feel like home. Hold R and W to sprint. Arrgh! And C to crouch. I wonder how many tutorials there are. Basically teaches you everything that you need to know. Kinda cool. And let's just uh, put the LCDs down as well. Oh, whoops. Used to grind. Yeah, already did. Way ahead of your good bot. Grinders can be used to remove trees. Yes, that I knew. <laughs> to be fair, I never really felt the, the urge to remove a tree, but... Or you can just drive in them with a vehicle, so... Okay, where does this lead? This leads to the... Um, uh, how do we call this? It's just a hallway? I don't even know how to call this. LCD... Let's just call it lower observation to hallway. There we go. But on uh, on here there will be um, it will say quarters and factory because that's what what is over here, right? It's quarters and factory. If I'm not mistaken. Also, there will be yeah 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 okay indeed. Quarters and factory. Yeah, that's correct. Okay. Actually, let me just think about this. Uh, then we will rename this to Quarters and Factory. There we go. Quarters and Factory. Ah, oh, it's off center again. I'm pretty sure it's every every display is kind of off-center. I just didn't notice it before. Cool, but that works. That works for me. And this, um, I think we call this the... What do you call this? The torpedo room? Torpedo chamber? I don't know, because these are... They're, they're the missile launchers in front, right? Those are the missile launchers. So this is the... How do you call this? On a warship? How do you call that? I really wonder. Because I'm almost sure it must have a name. Uh, let's just uh, lower observation to torpedo room. <laughs> this sounds so dumb. Torpedo room. But you know what I mean. It tells the story. That's important. Torpedo room. There we go. A few spaces. Beautiful. Okay. 
Lovely. So. Oh, this is actually a great preview picture. This one. You see the earth. You see some lighting. Yes. Perfect. This is really beautiful. Okay. Guys, uh, next time we're gonna continue our inter internal decoration spree with the torpedo room. Maybe until then I will actually have figured out what this thing is called. And then we'll move on to factory and um, quarters. Then we'll have to move on to the reactor room. Um, also cargo holds. And uh, then back here the um, machine room. I think that one will be called. Okay, and I don't think we have yet a access to our hangar. That's something we haven't done yet. Maybe that will come later. But right now, I'm very good with this. So, yeah. Uh, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time. Take care.